usually the infertility, the cause of infertility also is contributed by the male partner. Nearly 30% of the infertile couples have a male uh, factor which is very severe and another 20% which has a mild factor. So if you look at it, 50% of infertility is actually contributed by the husband. So there's a simple test which we do, the husband's semen analysis which tells me the count, the motility and the uh, abnormal sperms. Count more than 15 is a million per ml is normal. Uh, the motility more than 30% is a good motility and abnormality more than 4% normal is a normal sample. So any uh, man who has problems in these parameters actually has male infertility. So what do we do? We do a semen culture to see if there's any uh, infection which can give rise to it. Sometimes we do hormone levels if the count is really low, one or two million. And even genetic tests to find out if there is a genetic defect which is causing this low count. So all these tests need to be done. There's a new test called the DNA fragmentation test which gives us the stress levels in the semen sample you know because of the pollution because of smoking because of alcohol etc this can increase and cause problems now most of uh, the problems because of antioxidants uh, because of ROS that's reactive oxygen species or the DNA fragmentation can actually be corrected by giving treatment so that is a treatable cause but the other things what we normally do is we try medicines for three to six months if it works very good if it doesn't work we resort to ART that is IUI or ICSI. There are a lot of patients who have varicocele that means uh, there's a increased blood flow to the testes and that increases the temperature so the count goes low and if you do varicocele surgery the patient comes back to normal within six to nine months. So I think when you're treating a male factor it is very important to consider the age of the wife and her ovarian reserve when you decide on plan of treatment.